Cassie here. So I saw that a bunch of you have started your own Instagram accounts beyond just your friends and family, but actual fitness accounts for your Blogilates challenges, for your workouts and your food. I find it so liberating because you don't have to keep thinking about, oh, well, if I post about my workout again, so-and-so is going to be really annoyed. It's so awesome because you can gain like this other following and create your own community of friends that want to actually see those posts. Like you can actually inspire people to get their butt off of the couch by you just posting a picture of your sneakers or a picture of your banana pancakes or something. Because a bunch of you have started your Instagram accounts, I want to talk more about how to take better pictures and how to create better content. As you know, a bunch of people have actually created careers out of having an Instagram page. So this video is all about being a better Instagram photographer and how to actually build your online following by taking better pictures. So let's go. How to take a really good face selfie. First, you wanna find good lighting. If the sun is coming from behind your head, you're gonna be a big black shadow. To make your face look a little bit slimmer, don't angle from the bottom and get that chin and you know your nostrils. Actually angle a little bit from the top. Your jawline will actually create like this more acute angle. Some ways to make your selfie look more interesting. Surprise face, duck face, model face, natural smile face, candid laugh face. Obviously you're gonna wanna take like 50 photos or more so that you can pick just one. After you take your photo, you're gonna wanna edit them. An app that I really love using is Camera Plus. It already has settings for you so that you don't have to, you know, deal with the saturation and the brightness and all that kind of stuff. Here's backlit, here's portrait, here's all different types of options. And pick the one that looks the best and looks the brightest. You want to look like an angel that just came out of the cloud. Number two, how to take great full body Instagram photos. The key thing here is you don't want to take it from low and close, but from high and close. This technique is called lollipopping, where your head is really big and your body is really slender, so you look kind of like a doll or a lollipop. If you want to look a lot taller, then take it from far and low. That way your legs will look longer and you'll look a lot taller. Make sure to arch your back and stick out that booty. Best time of day to take a photo is during golden hour. Everything looks like champagne, it looks like gold, you look like a million bucks. Another really cool hipster thing to do is to find a colored wall and have a photo shoot in front of it. Number three, how to take great product laydowns. Now you would think it's really simple to just place things on the floor and put them in some type of order and take a top down shot, but there's kind of a science to it. As you can see right here, the floor is dirty. I have shoes that aren't situated in a natural way. The yoga mat is slightly laid out. The water bottle shows nothing but the cap and the shirt is super wrinkly and worst of all it doesn't even fit in an Instagram square it's got to kind of be like Jenga like a puzzle piece now I'm gonna show you how to do a good one I'm gonna switch out the water bottle to be a blue one to match the yoga mat I'm gonna switch out the shoes for a pink one to actually complement the colors in the yoga mat as well and this shirt right here is not wrinkly it's a perfect square it's like a jigsaw puzzle everything fits perfectly it looks good but I'm gonna make it better by adding this little plant in, you know, because that's totally natural. Now all the gaps are filled and you have a perfect product laid out. Number four, how to take great food porn shots. Now food is a huge part of my life. I love it and actually really love styling food before I eat it. So this is how you do it. Pancakes are always the best, hands down, tons of likes when you do them on Instagram. Stack it super high, place very strategically around them, nice and colorful, something that will bring the life out of your pancake. Then place a beautiful plate underneath and also place a napkin somewhere in the back. Here's the total food porn part. It's all about the syrup. If you are super advanced, you can actually try to take a picture while you're pouring the syrup to show action and life. And if you can't, no worries, it's okay. It takes lots of practice. something that I've seen a lot of people do. They take a picture of a half-eaten pancake. There's no stack and it's scraggly and disgusting with a piece of cloth and a paper towel just randomly on the side. Good picture, bad picture. A good picture motivates someone to want to eat healthy. That one just looks kind of nasty. So these are my tips for taking great Instagram photos. And I just want you to realize one thing. Instagram is a portfolio. Folio. People only post what they want to post and they want to post the most glamorous, most beautiful, most inspirational parts of their lives. But we all have deep dark spots that we may not want to put out there on social media. I think as long as you realize that it's a portfolio, don't get too affected by the 
good comparison because comparison is the thief of joy. I need to let you know something. Social media has completely changed. We have people posting pictures and videos because they want to get famous and make money and be rich. All they want is followers. It's like wanting to have a career because all you want is money. And that's fine to be really inspired to get bigger, but what's not fine is the intention. I've had people who have collaborated and then they have their assistants send me an email and say, oh, by the way, could you just say subscribe to her in um, the top three lines of your description box? Thanks, it's a little bit too low. I've had people send me threatening texts and say that, you know what, um, I'm not getting enough followers, so could you just you know, recaption your Instagram because it's not really fair. It's like you missed the point. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you create actual real relationships. And I know it kind of just ranted, but I just need to let you guys know that social media is getting out of hand. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what your Instagram name is so that I can check out your feed and uh, like some of your stuff, especially if you use some of these tips and tricks. I love you so much. Take care, guys, and stay beautiful.